And we continue to follow breaking news for you tonight. The Indianapolis Indian season has been officially yeah. canceled. Yeah, the formal word coming down within the past hour is all of minor league baseball is now shut down for the rest of the season. News lead Charlie Clifford with the president right now of the Indians. Bill and Kylie, thank you. We're back with the Indians team president and general manager, Randy Lewandowski. Randy, this is not a story we wanted to come out and do. Uh, minor league baseball done for the 2020 season. Fans across the state that are diehards of your team learning of this news this evening. What do you want to tell them tonight? Well, we're certainly disappointed and sad, I think, uh, not only for our staff, our players, but really it's about the community and the fans. I mean, that's why we exist. It's why we do what we do. Uh, we know we bring in a lot of diehard baseball fans, but it's even beyond that. We look at Victory Field as, as a big community gathering place, uh, 600,000 fans a year to downtown Indianapolis. And uh, the pandemic has caused havoc uh, throughout the world, throughout the country, throughout the state, throughout the city. And, and today is our day. Uh, we're unfortunately, we're not going to be able to move forward with our season. We're all thinking about you and the entire organization. You've been here 25 years. You're on the phone with your skipper, Brian Esposito, and some players, I'm sure. How were those conversations today? Well, I think, yeah, again, I think everybody has had a feeling of inevitability. And um, it's just, I think it's been sobering. It's been disappointing. You just sense and feel that and hear that in everybody you talk to now that it's official. Uh, you can talk about it all you want, but when you finally read it, see it, and hear it, um, yeah, it, 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 it hits home. And uh, most of us have grown up in the game, whether professionally. Heck, for the players, that's all they've done. Right. Um, and for not to, to, to be able to come out and, and display their skills, their talents, everything they've worked for on their ladder to the major leagues um, is difficult. Uh, a good chunk of our guys are going to be on the taxi squad. That's going to be a, a new thing in Major League Baseball this year to help uh, the major leagues cope with the pandemic and everything else. But uh, there's still a good chunk of guys that would have been here in Indianapolis that aren't going to be able to play professionally this year. And that's going to be you know, a tough step for them in their career. Finally, quickly, we're standing here, the best outdoor venue in the city. What can we expect Victory Field to look like the rest of the summer? Well, we appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Uh, some other people might argue, but we, we, we believe in what you say, Charlie. Yeah. Uh, really, we've got a lot of things. We're going to do some community events. We're going to host a blood drive next week. Uh, the American Dairy Association's Ice Cream Social is going to be moved to Victory Field next week as well. Uh, Mutstrut in September. We've picked up a lot of those community events that couldn't be in other venues. Uh, being outdoors really helps us a lot. Uh, we're planning some other baseball events, uh, maybe making a golf course out of Victory Field. Lots of, a lot of crazy things that we would never, ever contemplate because we need to keep the facility and the ballpark and the field at a major league level. This year, we're going to be able to play and have some fun, and, and that's what we're going to do. We're going to uh, turn that momentum, have some fun, uh, get creative, and try to come up with some crazy things to do out here at Victory Field this year. That's the attitude. Andy, Randy, excuse me, I appreciate you taking some time on a tough day. You bet. Yep. Appreciate it, Charlie. Phil, Kylie.